Hi, this is Sean McGill, and this is a quick demo of the Acer Neo Touch, which has just been released. It's quite a powerhouse of a phone. It's got a 5 megapixel autofocus camera with an LED flash, huge amounts of memory, very fast processor, HSDPA, and the new Windows Mobile 6.5. As you can see, if I compare it to the iPhone, it's roughly the same in dimensions, and they're both fairly skinny. I believe this one's coming in at about 11 millimeters. When I compare it to something like the BlackBerry Curve, it looks like a bit of a slab. It's definitely big, but that screen makes up for the size. As you can see, we have the new Windows Mobile 6.5 interface which is fairly smooth. The highlight of this device, besides the screen, is the speed. I'm going to give you an example. YouTube. Click something. The video's starting. I don't want to listen to him, so let's try something else. Another video. I don't know, what should we go for? Oh, Madonna and Lady Gaga. Great. Um, <clears throat> it's there. It's running and away you go. YouTube performance is brilliant. Videos come up the moment you click them. Never seen that in any other device. I'll have a quick look at the other apps that are included. A oh, couple of games as you'd expect, Solitaire and Bubble Breaker. What else have we got? You've got some social networking links as well. Surprisingly Twitter isn't included. You have Blogger, Flickr, YouTube and Facebook. What else have we got? Um, Acer has included their own calendar app, which is much better than the Windows Mobile one. Then again, what isn't? I'll keep going through. As you can see, everything is pretty snappy. I'll quickly like find a video, boom, and it will start playing full screen, please. There you go. I've had 15 applications running on this hasn't stuttered once. No matter what I do to it, it does not slow down. Internet Explorer has been improved by Microsoft in Windows Mobile 6.5. It's been improved to the point um, that it's still dreadful. Uh, I would suggest you install something like Opera because this really doesn't cut it. I mean you can see here it's not too bad at all in, in certain apps, it's giving you all the details here, this is the standard Windows mobile site and it looks good. The screen, um, I've tried Opera on it, uh, the, the screen really makes browsing uh, an experience and it makes a huge difference. There's some other odd extras like MSN weather which is really no more than a link to the current weather click on that and you get the weather for the moment not particularly great raining tomorrow what a surprise and there you go it's I can't really I can't really criticize this phone it's 330 pounds and it's the fastest smartphone I've ever used and that's amazing when you consider it's running Windows Mobile I'd love to know what it would do with certain other operating systems like Android um, the calculator has been beefed up. Unfortunately, on this screen, it just appears to have been redimensioned, which leaves huge gaps in the middle of the buttons. Doesn't look great, works well enough as, as a basic calculator. Trying to see what else we've got. Music, you can just click on the song and it'll play. That's how it works. So it's all a lot quicker than it was before. You've got some buttons, phone button, these are flush they light up, they're not actual buttons, they're merely icons that are there. Um, you've got a back button, you've got a today button as well. Acer has also included its own start uh, home panel. What's interesting, with Windows Mobile devices you, it tends to take a while for today's screens to change over. You'll notice here it's immediate yet again. Everything is immediate on this phone. You know, they played with the idea of the name F1. Well, that's probably more suitable. This 
the Neo Touch it's a bit of a bland name it just talks about touch it talks about a big screen and I think people may miss the performance side of this phone which is just fantastic some of these are a bit some of the things actually come out in standard quite a bit too large for my liking um, I, I guess they're okay if you've got a uh, poor eyesight but fortunately mine hasn't started going yet give it time and there you go that's a, an introduction to the Acer Neo Touch it's an unusual looking device it's relatively retro in its look but there's nothing retro about the performance at all it is a complete powerhouse that has, has really shocked me at how much um, at how much it can do and how nice it is to use for various functions from work to play at the moment after one day I can seriously recommend this um, as, as one of the best smartphones I've seen today it's currently available from Clove at www.clove.co.uk and you can expect a full review on PDA 247 over the next few days thanks for